everybody was. Yeah. The funny thing is that even if we did take another twenty minutes to suit it down, what are you gonna do right now? Okay, everybody, we just left the Prince's Gate behind us, so we got it all loaded in. And to your right, I mean to your left here, is a nighttime show, a new one called Mana, which combines acrobats, illusionists, and exotic creatures to create an unforgettable show. On the other side, you will find the Canadian Forces exhibit. You can stop by and talk to some real soldiers. I think they've got some activities for people. And just up ahead here is the GM test drive where you get to test drive some of their new award-winning fuel efficient vehicles. It does get quite busy later on in the day. Um, there is usually a lineup but they also have a nice lounge for people to wait in. So it has couches and I think they've got some uh, coffee tables or something. <laughs> Just up ahead here, the building to our right, is uh, the Stanley Barracks, built in 1841. The Stanley Barracks originally consisted of six main buildings around a parade square. Five of these buildings were demolished, leaving only the building you see here today. This is the new home of the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. Up a little ahead, where the tent is, you have uh, the Bridge to Ontario place. And with proof of CNE admission, you can enjoy free admission entrance into the entire park. This is also the stop for the Molson Amphitheater. So if later on in the day you guys decide to go on the train, and, which actually makes stops, <laughs> this coming stop would be the one to get off for, for Ontario Park and um, Molson Amphitheater, as well as the Midway, which is on our right. I just want to remind everybody that while the train is in motion, to please remain seated with your arms and hands in at all times, and please remain facing whichever way your bench is facing. Stadium, home of the Toronto Football Club. Yeah, I should be able to go. Thirty times ten. 
just up ahead in front of us is the Casino, which is open from noon to 6 a.m. daily and features 84 gaming tables and nightly live entertainment. Once we do, you'll see the arts, crafts, and hobby pavilion, with many handmade Canadian treasures to take home. It also houses a number of exhibits and interactive displays, including the Beautiful Women Project. Just on the other side of the casino here, on the far end, is the Better Living Center, where you can enjoy visiting our working farm. As well, on the northwest side, you will find the Visitor's Service Center, which offers baby rest stations, first aid, lost and found articles, lost and found children, and a quiet place to pray. You will also find Scouts Canada if you're interested in renting out wheelchairs. Entertainment, Midway Rides, a backyard circus, interactive games, and a park full of animals, puppets, and other wild creatures. Not to mention YTV Wow, a baby care center, and much more. Kids World is open daily from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and the Kitty Midway is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, I'm sure.